Hello, I'm Jakari Honeycook. And I'm Dominic. And welcome back to Johnny Benny Campus News, your news station for keeping up to date with campus life and events. The Visual Arts Department is currently displaying for George. Portraits of the Movement for George is a collection of portraits and interviews from George Floyd Square members of the community interested in the piece can stop by the Benedict and Dorothy Gretzky Gallery at CSB Monday through Saturday, anytime from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. The piece will no longer be displayed on May 9th. As of March 13th, there are currently zero positive co cases of COVID-19 within the student community. As of right now, 91% of Benny's and Johnny's are fully vaccinated. For updates and resources surrounding COVID-19, please visit csbsju.edu backslash COVID-19. Now we go to Peyton and Colin with this week's Sports Roundup. Hi, I'm Peyton Nelson. And I'm Colin Cairo. And welcome to this week's Sports Roundup. The St. John's baseball team takes on Concordia Moorhead Saturday at 1 p.m. The St. Ben's softball team's doubleheader against UW Stout has been postponed due to the cold temperatures. The Benny's next game will be in Northfield. Sunday, April 2nd, as they take on St. Olaf. The St. John's tennis team lost their match to Division II Augustana 7-0. The Johnnies will look to bounce back as they head to Owatonna to take on St. Olaf this Saturday. The St. Ben's tennis team came up short against Division II St. Cloud State with a final score of 5-2. Despite the loss, sophomore Peyton Copel was named Athlete of the Week after racking up two single wins. The Bennies hope to bounce back as they had the St. Paul to take on McAllister this Saturday at 11 a.m. CSB SJU Frisbee team BAM and Rapture took on Old Capital this weekend. The Johnnies posting a 5-2 record and winning the consolation bracket to claim ninth place. Everyone, gets, everyone getting a lot of playing time and getting revenge on D1 Kansas from the last tournament. Meanwhile, the Bennies dominated the game against UMD, winning by a score of 8-4. That's all for this week's sports roundup. As always, good luck to all our Johnnies and Bennies who are competing, and make sure to tune in next week for all your sports news. Events, award-winning poet and author Caroline Forch will be giving a talk on the craft of writing, as well as discussing her personal writing practices on April 5th at 7 p.m. in Upper Grecky. She will be giving the same talk on April 7th. The Visual Arts Department will be hosting a panel discussing for the new exhibit for George this Monday from 5 to 7 p.m. in the Benedict and Dorothy Gretzky Gallery. Finally, on April 5th from 7.30 to 8.30, incoming President Brian Brees will be hosting a meet and greet with the CSB SJU community in Brother Willie's Pub. Students can stop by and get to know him before he starts the job. That's all for this week's campus news. Be sure to tune in next week for updates on campus life and events. Mm -hmm.